And the other really important thing when you take the mallet back is that when you take the mallet, you don't take your hand before the mallet. You don't take it back that way to get there because then the mallet will never ever follow the swing plane. It comes and it starts to fall either in or it's outside. What you want is that the mallet is traveling first and your hand follows it, okay? So from the side, if you're battling with getting into the swing plane, a really nice little tip is as you start your swing, just start the mallet moving backwards there and let your hand follow it and come down instead of taking your hand first and leaving the mallet back. Because at the top of the swing, you want to be in this position. If you've got your wrist locked correctly and you just lift your elbow, that works. But for a lot of beginners, what's happening is that they take their hand and now that wrist is not set and this starts to happen. So if you try and just take the mallet first there and let your hand follow it, now you'll get much easier into the swing plane. And it's not a big movement, it's just start the mallet going and let your hand follow it. So it's through and down, through and down, rather than back and now you see it's so hard to get the mallet to move.